Hello, my name is Karx82, and welcome back. Our project goes on three cap on my playthrough. I am just finishing up a couple things here. Hopefully, this is a 10 10 10 seed. That has taken a while. Yeah, yes, nice. All right, so with that, we can go ahead and get the cold seeds. Need just one of those. We'll throw those out. Don't need that. All right. I have it set up up here. Uh, I'm not going to do it right this second, but uh, yeah, I needed that. But uh, won't have that in me. Uh, actually, no. We'll just put it in there for now. I do know it's up here. Um, but don't forget. All right. Uh, last episode, we left off with the. A pressurized uh, reaction chamber yeah PRC and uh, I needed to get this configurator so we can configurate <laughs> the pipes and stuff so um, I'm actually surprised there is not a quest for that one actually yeah there's no configurate oh there is a quest for biofuel though I don't know what I'm going to do with it in my inventory. I have nowhere to put it, but uh, I think because that's full, I have nowhere to put it. So actually, why don't we just, there we go. Let it despawn. All right, so we got all that gas burden generator. That's probably for like ethylene if we have extra, but there's no need. Heat generator. Don't really need it. <laughs> Biofuel generator, don't need it. Uh, we'll probably get these at some point, I think. But uh, all right, so we need the HDP L HDPE pellets. All right, so we got this now. I think we can get this. So items, I do want output there. Yeah, why does it say energy? We're under items. Like, why does energy pop up? That drives me nuts about mechanism machines. It's so confusing. Um, so to the right, we'll output the substrate. I think we can do this. I think. I have them right there. All right, uh, let's see if this works. I, I think it does, but I could be wrong. Can we do an input and an output in the same thing? I, I don't know. I really don't know. So that's under fluid conduits. There is that. And of course, that's not hooking up to that. Is there any way to like just clear everything? <laughs> All right, energy. Yeah, that's from the bottom. Input. No. Doesn't want to attach. Fluids. Right, there we go. Uh, I don't know why disconnecting that one. Oh, maybe it just like updated or something. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So insert. Man, let's uh, I'm not. I'm just going to change the colors of this just so it's a little more. Yeah, so items is the brown. Water is the green. Yeah. Items there. This is the front. All right, let's see if this works. Please work. Yes, it does. All right, nice. So we got that going in there. Part one of one, or part one of many. Um, nice. Now we need to get ethylene out. So, side fluids. I guess fluid that. But that's 
Uh, okay. I don't know. <laughs> Wait, that's a gas. That's right. All right. So turn that off. Gas. Gases. Output. Dark blue. Yes. Oh my goodness. We'll get this eventually. Um, we do need power. Um, is there? Can we? Any way to like power this without having to put it in? Thing that I don't own. Um, maybe in here. Oh, in there. There we go. Nice. Um, because I don't have the mechanism power uh, battery things. So hopefully, here we go. Shift click. There we go. Nice. We're pulling the ethylene. So shift, uh, shift click to get the ethylene out. Now, we need to put the ethylene in a rotary condensator. We need to get it in here. That's not what I want. So we need liquid ethylene and... Uh, which one are we doing? Liquid ethylene and oxygen. I also need to get oxygen from here, and I don't think it'll work with the interfluid conduits. I may need to actually craft up some more of this. I like trying to figure this out, but um, it's just, they're like needlessly complicated, but maybe it's just me. <laughs> uh, so I feel like that, no, oh, that's right. All right, that there. All right, so then that one's out auto outputting. <laughs> I'm gonna just do that, so I know that's like pulling into the pipe. So oxygen would be. Look at this again. So the red, I guess, is that considered a liquid? I don't know. Gas is back. No, it's the back, right? See, and it doesn't indicate or anything that I have done it correctly. But it is connecting. That's a good sign. And there we go. All right, so there is that. Now we need the liquid ethylene. The other thing that's a bit confusing, gases and fluids. So, like, in most mods, oxygen and, like, water are gonna act the same way and you can use the same pipes whereas mechanism you can't and that i find is a bit confusing um but here we go the rotary and then <laughs> i think if yeah see this is another one of those ones the sided ones there's no way to change the sides so i'm guessing the gas would go in there the liquid come out here Gas would go in here, liquid could come out here. So we need to turn this around. To there. Is there any way to tell which is the front? Nope. <laughs> oh boy. I don't know. Um, gauge dropper is what you use to get fluids out. By the way, I can't remember if I mentioned that in the Last episode, um, uh, I have cables underneath. All right, well, I didn't catch those blocks. <laughs> there we go, we have power. So I think if I put the ethylene in this side, it'll go through. I have no idea. I don't want ethylene to go in. No, I don't. I don't think this can take two gases actually. Okay, there's a lot of recipes, but it all seems to be. Oxygen, water. Kind of a weird. Bit weird. 
No, it doesn't look like there is any. There was one that was different. Yeah, it's all a liquid and a gas. That's. I don't think we can accidentally. I just don't want to put ethylene in there accidentally. Is what I was. Kind of. Actually, why don't we? All right. Yeah. See, so gas is not connecting. It's not connecting there. Not connecting there. Is it connecting there? It is connecting there though. So. Yes. There. Over here. Into there. Filling up with ethylene. Filling up with liquid ethylene. But it doesn't want to auto open. <laughs> All right. Change. Change. Stop. 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 So there is there is there no way to. Man, I don't want to lose all that. I don't think you... Watch. I probably will. I think I probably just lost that gas, but... There. Alright. So you don't... At least you don't lose the contents. Man, this just looks so weird. There we go. And then probably just have Ender conduits on me. So that's oh. Perfect. Sir. Alright, there we go. HDP e pellets. <laughs> uh Yeah, there is no, I'm not seeing any, not seeing any, like, uh, any way to auto output, so. There we go. We got HDPE. So, um, I don't know how many of this we're going to need um, at this point. So, I'm just going to leave it in there so this eventually turns off. I feel like that just doesn't... That just looks silly, though, doesn't it? I feel like having to do it this way... I don't know. Whatever. I'm done with... Done with uh, that. Um, so we needed... Got that. We got that. We got that. Um, we needed the sheets, didn't we? Isn't that the main reason we needed to get these sheets? Where is that? Realize we didn't get the quest for that. Because we needed the compressor and the compressor needed the sheets. Alright, and apparently... You throw these in the enrichment chamber, it's a one-to-one. -one. Okay, or it doesn't? Wasn't that enrichment chamber? Ah, it's three-to-one. It's still a better ratio, right? Eight-to-one. Yeah. So, definitely a... Definitely a better ratio. Alright, so that will just... do that, and then... Yeah. So we are gonna need these again at some point, but... It's like, it's just the... Looks like that's... Yeah, a couple more things with Black to Craft, but for the most part, I don't think we need like massive amounts of HTTP uh, pellets. So uh, we'll just let that run and then eventually it'll backlog and turn off and yeah. I think we'll just do, yeah, because we definitely need a constant supply of oxygen, but we get more hydrogen. So uh I don't think we need to. It's debating about doing the one to eight, but there's no need. Not when biofuel is infinite and water is infinite. All right, let me get a little bit of this cleaned up here. Really want to throw those in the A system to sit there for 
years and years. I may use them in a minute here, but uh, I guess we'll just throw that in there. I do need to get the wait, have I gotten I think I feel like I've gotten those, have I? I have, and I got them to ten ten ten. So I just haven't got around to crafting up the seeds yet. But uh Alright, uh yeah, moving on. So we need these compressor one us to get, and this is how we get the Those plates, press or presser. All right, there's a whole lot of oxygen compressors. There, I don't know, <laughs> maybe one's faster than that. Uh, but it looks like we need these wafers. So, to get wafers, we need. Some craziness. We just throw all this in there. I have no idea. I've never actually used this before. So diamond. What else do we need? Silicon. Redstone and a redstone torch. Uh, I don't know. I have no idea. Let's try it out. So is, is this, you just throw all this stuff in and get three wafers, is that how that works? No power. Let's give it some power. No power. <laughs> Uh, oh god is is this one of those things that we can't <laughs> is this like the power i feel like i remember this from yep Oh well. So, diamond, two silicon, redstone, torch. Yep. Apparently, that's apparently that's how it works. All right. So that'll get us those. Um, we do have osmium. We just got the HDP sheets. Tasty wafers. So, refined. Actually, let's craft up the recipe for it. So, we need refined ingots. Oh, I should just get it. Go ahead and get the seed really quick. Uh, anything? Nope. It's tier 5 crafting seed, which I mean is not super easy to get. It takes a while, but. Uh, one to one and I set it up back here yep so let's try that out it turned on it did did it put it in here I think I need to There. I think, I think bottom is where we want. I think I have it being pulled up the bottom. Yep, yeah, there we go. All right, so there is the refined ingots. Two plates. The 
they all look the same. <laughs> there. Ooh, dark steel anvil. I didn't realize it was dark steel, but um, what is it? An anvil is what? Thirty-one. Oh man, I'm out of coal. <laughs> did I get a coal essence yet? I did. Just haven't set that recipe. That. There is that. Yeah, nice. So is that everything? Yeah, except for the dark steel, which just takes a second in here. It's pretty fast um, with the stellar capacitor in. And that is uh, the compressor. And that gets us the plates, if I am remembering correctly, so the heavy duty Yes, so the compressor, press bronze, aluminum, and steel. So it looks like we need to put two in to get that. One XP. You need experience to craft those up? Is that what I just read? Oh my goodness. All right, there we go. Compressor. Does this have like a power thing? No, this, because this runs on fuel. <laughs> I guess that's what the electric uh, compressor is. Um, but you can't get that unless you have compressed steel and advanced wafers, which. So an advanced wafer is the exact same thing except for a redstone repeater. Hmm. Interesting. Or why not right here? So we just put that in there and... What was that? Strip miner. Uh, eight, eleven. I'm just trying to figure out kind of how many we're going to need here. So what I say, eight, eleven, and these are four each. So like 27, 31, so about like 32. So we would need like a stack of each. So a stack of bronze. A stack of steel. <laughs> I don't know why I'd be so specific. And stack of aluminum. All right, aluminum I don't have either. Uh, we maybe need to, well, no, I probably have tons of aluminum over there somewhere. So we just throw that in there. Yeah. Did we get one EXP? Was that what that thing was saying? Maybe that's what that was saying. I didn't see. Did that go up? Let's see if it goes up if I pull it out or something. Yep, all right, so we get EXP. All right, cool. Um, what happens if we... That does not work, all right, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, maybe... Should I get... Oh, I can't. I think I want to get this electric compressor. Press this two at a time, making it more effective. Yeah, it's faster. I don't know. Is it even... I don't worry about that. Um, what does this want? So, oxygen collector. And we're going to have to do a lot of this stuff. A refinery, it's going to want us to craft up. Uh, copper canister, all right. Easy enough. Uh, 
Why is this? Why is the NASA workbench locked behind the refinery? That's making me nervous. Compressed titanium. Compressed iron gears. That's easy enough. That's easy enough. I'm noticing that, which is a bit annoying. <laughs> workbench, machine frames we have gotten. It's actually pretty easy now. These are really annoying to make. All right, uh, I got some crafting up here uh, to do. Let me get all this stuff crafted up. Let me get the refinery crafted up. I don't, still don't know why the workbench is locked behind the refiner. Oh, okay. Oh, let's do advanced refinery. I had that. Yeah. They're like, what does this do? Ah, this makes. This makes rocket fuel or whatever it is. But uh, why is that locked behind it? Should that be like, I don't know. Anyway, uh, yeah, let me get this done and we'll come back. All right, I am just auto crafting up a ME controller. Um, I just did, I manually did the, the PCBs. I haven't got this uh, fully automated yet, but uh, yeah, I just put them in like the light box right here and then threw them in the ground to get the uh, unassembled PCB. Uh, we don't have the laser or whatever they're called, the assembly machines yet. Um, because these also require, each of these require a circuit board. So you got to like make the expensive way to get like the cheaper way. And I just haven't. Uh, done that. Although now that I'm looking at it, maybe we should just get ready for the future. Because I mean, the uh, the Emmy controllers are pretty good. So I need four of those, which is not um, unexpected. But uh, do have a recipe? I did the. These, these are actually pretty easy if I have the, all right, I do have the plastic. I couldn't remember how much plastic I had. All right, let's just, hopefully that doesn't get mixed up. I just realized that we are crafting up over here. I actually don't know. I actually don't know. <laughs> what happens if you put two different recipes in here? I don't know if I've actually I can't remember if I've actually tried there we go um and you also the coal I also put coal in the recipe so it adds it just in case um but it keeps it keeps it up but oh there we go it works I feel like but just a normal sound I feel like I'm hearing the sound that I was like, does that always make that sound like it's leaking? It sounded like it was leaking. But, uh, all right, there we go. There is those. But, um, yeah, I'm not going to worry about that right that second, because right now we are crafting up a spaceship. Um, I also went ahead and crafted up the electric compressor. It wasn't too difficult at all. Um, also, I did notice these actually continuously pull power. Which is a bit annoying, but I mean, I'm making so much <laughs> from these uh, that it doesn't even matter. But uh, there is our refinery, and I'm assuming that's probably also going to need power. A weird... no. Oh, uh, this one's on top. <laughs> oh. And probably needs to, something needs to go in there. Oil needs to go in there. Fuel comes out there. Is that how that works? All right, there we go. So we do need oil. And uh, do we have, no, I've used all this oil to get. Okay, I can totally hear it. I feel like, is her leaking somewhere? Oh, it's probably because, right, I have security upgrades on 
that. So if it gets too high, it lets out the air. Duh. Duh. Alright, so we need to get some oil. And uh, I don't know how much oil we're going to need, but let's grab one of these and let's head to the Twilight Forest. I really wish I, I, I knew a better way to get oil. There is the uh, industrial uh, immersive engineering way, and that's actually not it's actually not too bad once you get it fully automated. But we can also just walk in here, get a little bit of lag as we enter. But there is oil right here. Uh, so, yeah, and just kind of, this is a huge oil, oh my goodness, my aim is way off, <laughs> so I don't know, but eight buckets, 12, maybe 12, I'm not going to fill this all up while I'm, yeah, let's just get 12. So does it just kind of go in one side and out the other? That is not what I wanted to do. All right, it's going in there. We're finding and we're slowly getting fuel. All right, there is that. So we're getting the fuel. Um, we're gonna need to get oxygen. A lot of this is just annoying crafting. <laughs> this stuff is so annoying, to be honest. Um, it's just like, it's recipes that are only used in this stuff, so it's kind of like, it's just a whole lot of like recipes that I have to uh, do. Now, I actually don't know, I'm not going, I'm probably not going to, but can this be automated? Does this, does this have like an input, an output? How does that work? Can this even be outputted? Yeah, how would that work with... Because you need to... Like if we do this... That doesn't work. So how would that recipe kind of like... How would that work? I don't know. But, all right, there is fuel, and we need the controller. Still working on that. Why is why is that? Maybe I don't know why that is. Um, <clears throat> not sure why that's not working. Maybe. Something weird with the uh ah uh, i've yeah, I've had issues with this before that's right um these dense things seem to be yeah, see if we shift click in, it doesn't work even though we have one right there, but there is that. So let me get this. I know we're kind of running a bit long here. Let me get this craft up because I do want to get a spaceship at least built for today. So we got the hardest part of it. Everything else is just a little, just some minor crafting and we'll be right back. All right, we are back. Just crafting up the last of this. There is the NASA workbench. I need eight more of those so this just kind of goes down somewhere and holy cow that is way bigger than i realized well i guess it is building a <laughs> spaceship uh why wouldn't it be big yeah, let's move this uh up. this probably needs power doesn't it That looks really cool though. Um, we 
don't have. I'm just realizing we don't have. Oh, maybe we don't. We not need to see schematic for tier one. Is that not a thing? All right, looks like that's right. I think you just get the first. Yeah, you get the tier two. All right, so I think we can. Can we actually just craft this up? Is that it? Well, that was a bit. <laughs> that was a bit underwhelming. I thought like cool stuff would happen. Maybe uh, cool stuff happens later or something. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I've never actually used that, but uh, there we go. There is a tier one rocket. Can I take a look at it? There we go. Tier one rocket. Um, but still got a couple more things we need to do, like uh, get some oxygen so we can actually breathe. And some here. I don't know if we need thermal padding for the moon, but uh, what are we looking at? Wool, and I mean, that's that's super easy. So, uh, yeah, a couple more things to do, and then we will, uh, I guess, head to the moon and yeah. Do that. I know you get these in, uh, you get them in the, uh, the little dungeon things that are probably going to be super easy for our gear. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, with that. And, uh, yeah, we'll do that next episode. I'm just curious what the tier two rocket. All right, pretty much the same, just a couple extra things. Um, some more. Oh, and uh, if we want to do these things, there's how we um, we need the multi-block to automate them. That's right. Uh, so anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. So thanks for watching and have a good one.